Hello everyone myself Supriya Rai today in this video we will study chapter number 2 of class 7th nutrition in animals here in this video we will cover the following topics mode of nutrition in animals step in animal nutrition nutrition in amoeba hydra and frog nutrition in humans digestion of food in ruminants mode of nutrition in animals we all know animals cannot prepare their own food so they depend on others for or plants for their food hence they are known as heterotrophs and they show heterotrophic mode of nutrition so based on eating habit heterotrophs are classified into the following three groups herbivores those who depend on only plants carnivores those who depends on flesh and omnivores those who depend on plant and animal both the mode of nutrition in herbivores carnivores and omnivores animal is called holozoic nutrition Holozoic means that they take food by engulfing. Step in animal nutrition. Animal take food in the form of a complex organic compound like carbohydrates, protein, fats, etc. Therefore, the process of animal nutrition involve the following 5 steps: ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection nutrition in amoeba hydra and frog first we see amoeba amoeba is a tiny single celled organism it engulf the tiny particles of food by throwing its false feet which is known as pseudopodia around the food particles or animal hydra hydra is a simple multicellular animal it has a number of tentacles around it mouth which are used for ingestion of food you can see here in this picture frog frog uses its long sticky tongue to catch the insect you can see in this picture nutrition in human so for study this topic we have to study human digestive system human digestive system consists of an alimentary canal which is also known as gut which start with mouth and end at anus it and they are also associated with an associated glands the various organ in alimentary canal first mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus and the associated glands are salivary glands liver and pancreas in this picture you can see all the parts first we will start the human digestive system with mouth food is taken into the body through the mouth the digestion of food starts in our mouth the mouth contain teeth tongue and salivary glands teeth cut the food into small pieces chew and grind it different types of teeth are incisor canine premolar and molar incisors are eight in number four in each jaw canines are four in number means two in each jaw premolars and molars premolars are eight in number and molars are 12 in number jaw upper jaw and lower jaw a primary teeth are known as temporary teeth and the secondary teeth are known as permanent teeth 
you can see in this picture the green colors are the incisors the red one are the canines yellow is premolar and blue is molar the tongue help in mixing saliva with food tongue has the taste bud which help us to identify sweet salt and bitter and sour tastes there are three pairs of salivary glands present in our mouth which releases the saliva saliva contains a salivary amylase which convert the starch into maltose now the food has been transferred into the next part that is esophagus also known as food pipe the esophagus is a tube which connect the mouth to our stomach it carries the slightly digested food from mouth to stomach the food coming from mouth moves down through a different kind of movement that is known as peristalsis movement you can see here in this picture also in the stomach now after the esophagus the food has reached to the stomach stomach is j shaped thick walled muscular bag the inner lining of the stomach secretes the following three juices hydrochloric acid mucus and digestive juices food stay in our stomach around 2 to 4 hours and it is half digested like a thin paste called as chyme mucus function of mucus is that it protects the inner lining of the stomach from the action of enzymes and acids hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria which enter in the stomach along with our food and digestive juices help in the breakdown of protein after the stomach food transferred into the small intestine small intestine in human being is the site of complete digestion of food it receives secretion of digestive juices from liver which is the largest gland in human body pancreas and its own wall liver secretes a juice or a liquid known as bile juice which is stored in gall bladder which is present inside the liver pancreas secretes pancreatic juice which converts the fats into fatty acids the small intestine is especially adapted for absorbing the digested food this only happens due to the presence of a million of tiny finger like outgrowth inside the inner lining of the small intestine is known as villi the villi gives the inner wall a large surface area for the rapid absorption of the digested food villi also connected with the capillaries which transfer the digested food into the blood after small intestine the food transfer into large intestine the food that remain undigested and unabsorbed by the small intestine transferred into large intestine the large intestine absorbs water and salt from the undigested food material now in rectum and anus due to the removal of water in large intestine the undigested food becomes semi solid then undigested food is now stored in the last part of the large intestine known as rectum some for some times now that undigested food stays there in rectum and it comes and pass out from our body through an organ known as anus in the form of feces now the last topic digestion of food in ruminants 
the grass eating animal like cow buffalo goat etc are called as ruminants because a part of their stomach is rumen is specialized to store the half chew food the half chew food or partially digested food in a rumen of cow is known as curd so the process by which the curd is brought back in the stomach to the mouth of animal and chewed again is called as rumination here you can see in this picture the stomach of ruminant has four chambers rumen reticulum omasum and abomasum here in this picture you can see all the parts now the rumen is the largest chamber for storage of food in the ruminants after watching the complete session you have to answer the following question to check whether you have understood the chapter or not first question which digestive enzyme is present in saliva name the digestive juices secreted by pancreas and third what is curd thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe